very good morning students today we are going to discuss about design of 3 by 8 decoder uh, which can also be called as binary to octal converter here the size of the decoder is generally n by 2 power n uh, if i substitute n is equal to 3 uh, 2 power 3 is equal to 8 so 3 by 8 decoder so in this there are 3 inputs and 8 outputs generally encoders are just opposite to the decoder so here 3 by 8 decoder no in encoder if you substitute n equal to 3 it will become 8 by 3 encoder where it has 8 inputs and 3 output just for our understanding for comparative study i have given encoder block diagram here later on we will discuss about encoder now we will design decoder only ok in this for any design we require first uh, a truth table correct so truth table contains inputs and outputs so we know from this block diagram itself there are 3 inputs and 8 outputs correct so 2 power 3 8 possible combination we will get so i will 8 means i will divide this into 2 blocks ok 0 um, 2 blocks means first 4 as a 1 block and second 4 as a 1 block ok then 0 <coughs> 0 1 then 1 0 1 1 so if i write like this it will uh, be easy to complete within a stipulated time ok so what i do just copy this for the second four so i'll get like this correct then for the first of the speciality of uh, msb is for the first four it has zero for the second four it has one its value is one this is the speciality of msb correct we know it already okay now <coughs> i have given all the eight possible combination now as per the concept if i give triple zero at the input d naught which is its equivalent octal value zero correct so d naught will be glowing so d naught will get the output one the remaining output values are zero so the remaining output value are zero then for zero zero one its equivalent octal value is one the corresponding output d one will be getting the output similarly 0 1 0 means its equivalent value is 2 so 2 will get the output d2 will get the output as 1 <coughs> 0 double 1 its value is 3 so d3 will be getting output then next to row see here 1 double 0 its equivalent octal value is 4 so d4 will be glowing then 1 0 1 its equivalent octal value is 5 so d5 will get the output see here d5 corresponding d5 will get the output similarly the next output will be 1 so for the triple one its equivalent value is 7 its equivalent octal value we can say like that its output is 1 so for the remaining output will be 0 see here all the output will be 0 here so the next in design first forming the truth table then writing the mean terms that we know writing the mean terms correct here we can write the mean term but see here for each output 7 output we will write 7 mean terms but taking d naught it is having the mean term for, a, for the only one cell so what does it mean even if you form a k map it is not possible to get the simplified expression ok so you will get a only single grouping so no need to go for k map like other designs ok so instead we can write its equivalent um, mean term expression what is the equivalent mean term expression triple zero so x dash y dash z dash that is for zero we will take complement of a variable then for one we will take original variable so d naught we will take see here triple zero that is why I am having <coughs> d naught is x dash y dash because triple zero x y dash z dash z value is triple zero correct z dash triple zero and for d1 its value is 0 0 1 that is why it is x dash y dash z dash d2 either we go here and refer d2 in this column i am having one here only correct the corresponding inputs are 0 1 0 so i will write this as x dash y z dash d3 the another way of understanding is d3 no 0 double 1 correct the input is 0 double for that i have written 
this 0 w 1 are responsible for x y z value. So, 0 for 0 I am writ I have written x dash y z correct d 4 what is the corresponding input I will be getting 1 double 0. So, 1 is re responsible for x. So, I have written x the remaining 0 0 is responsible for y and z. So, uh, y dash z dash similarly we have to complete for 5 1 0 1 correct. So, 1 0 1 means x I have put as it is y dash and then z like that <coughs> d 6 d 6 is uh, what is the input one, double 1 0 correct. So, x y z dash and then d 7 is x y z. Once we write all the expression for output then we will have to uh, draw the logic diagram for any design the word comes it ends with logic diagram only. So, we have to draw the logic diagram there are three input variables um, and there are complements are available. So, as I already told three inputs for those three inputs x y z are taken and their complements are available. So, that uh, through inverter I have put another vertical line which indicates it is uh, x dash this line is uh, for y dash this line is for z dash. Now, we know for d naught x dash y dash z dash see here the tappings are taken from x dash for the input of uh, and gate see here it is x dash y dash and then z dash all the three inputs are here and that so all these tappings are given at the input of and gate and this is your d naught d1 is x dash y dash z see here inputs are x tapped from x dash y dash and then z correct now this is your d naught no now this one is d1 okay so similarly for d2 d2 x dash y dash z dash now see here tapped from x dash and then uh, y x dash y and then z dash correct now this in output is d2 d2 like that it goes on d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 we have to implement based on this expressions okay till d7 so we will consider 7 no see here d7 is x y z x y and then z all the three inputs are given to and gate because all these expressions are anded okay so like this we have to draw the entire logic diagram thank you all